Hi lovers, happy afternoon. Um, I want to talk about a new concept this afternoon that I haven't actually spoken about yet, but it's been one I've been meaning to speak about for a really long time. And I just totally forgot that I forgot to like pray and set my intention for this live, but God, angels, universe of the highest truth and intention, please channel through me in this live, deliver what you are meant to deliver and leave all the rest. May everyone who watches this be completely and totally blessed and may they come away feeling empowered, inspired and on top of the world, amen. Um, I will upload this as an IGTV, so don't stress if you miss a little bit of it, you can always come back and watch it later. But I've had a pretty hectic morning this morning and the reason that I had a hectic morning had nothing to do with like my work schedule or um, how hard I worked or the things that I'd done or things that I'd managed to tick off my to-do list. The reason that I wanted to talk about this topic today and this video is going to be entitled Inward Healing Over Outward Hustling and the reason that I wanted to talk about this today is that the work that I've done this morning has been inner work. It's been healing work. It's been soul work. It's been healing past life trauma work. It's been feeling work. It's been emotional work. It's been sobbing on my lounge room floor for half an hour work. It's been the kind of work that we kind of don't talk about a lot in entrepreneurial circles, but a lot of people do. And it's such a disservice, I think, when people, like I always get secretly like excited when someone that I really admire and respect and look up to in the business world talks about the emotional inner healing work or spiritual work that they do, because it's something that not a lot of people talk about enough and it's something that I know for a fact that 90% of these people do, like people that we look up to as leading entrepreneurs and business owners and success coaches and everything like that, they all have their fair share of emotional inner work, whether they call it that or not, spiritual work, healing work, inner child work, whatever it looks like for them or whatever they call it, they all do it. And yet what we see is work your ass off. What we see is I didn't sleep for four years while I was building my business, so you better do the same. What we see is I hustled my buns for this, this, and this, so if you want to be successful, that's the only way to do it. And it's like the way that I see it and why I titled this video Inward Healing Over Outward Hustling is like there's two ways to sort of do this thing, this whole path to success thing. And the way that we've been taught is very much the outward hustling way. It's the you better work harder way. It's the you better put in 18 hours a day way. It's the you better keep taking action and doing more and um, having, you know, having uh, investing more in coaches and just having like this constant never ending to do list that you're just always working with your way through and I'm not saying that that way doesn't work because it does like at the end of the day there are people that have built you know pulled themselves pulled themselves up by their bootstraps and built these epic six and seven big businesses and have worldly success and all of the things that we know and love and admire but at the end of the day there is also another path and that's the inward healing path and the difference between the two is that I'm going to try and explain this. The analogy that I'm getting, the analogy that I've like got in my head is of someone that like the outward hustling is like someone going to build this like really intricate, this really like high, high tech, state of the art irrigation system, right? Like you can go to the mountain, you can build the pipes, you can build the machinery, you can build the, you know, yeah, the, the pipes that funnel into the taps, you can build the taps in the home and you can build the nozzle that turns on and off the taps. Or you could just go to the waterfall next door and clear all the debris and shit out of the way and let the oceans of abundance that want to wash over you fall onto you like they would naturally anyway. And that's the difference that I see between like the outer stuff that people do and then the inner stuff. The outer stuff is almost like for me at right now feels like pushing a boulder up a hill. It feels like doing things out of a place of like hustling for worthiness rather than actually desiring to do them. And the inner work feels like releasing. It feels like and this is just like using water as a metaphor for abundance, like financial abundance specifically, using water as a metaphor for abundance here. It's like, oh, we could just go to the waterfall and clear the debris and shit out of the way. And by debris, I mean like our limiting beliefs, our emotional wounds, our trauma, this life and past life, our um, energetic blocks and stagnant things in our body that are stopping us from having and doing and being, creating, experiencing whatever it is that we want. And it's like, to me, I don't, I'm, I've done the hustling stuff. Like I've done the stuff that's like, I'm going to work till two o'clock in the morning. I'm going to write myself a to-do list and put things on it just because I feel like that's what I should be doing. I've done the ego goals. I've done the, I'm going to set myself this goal and say that I have to have this done by this day because that makes me sound really important. And don't get me wrong. My ego loves that shit. My ego loves sounding like I have it all together, like I'm this high achiever, like I'm this like high performing superhuman that just does all these things and juggles it all at once and somehow just manages to still get like get everything done by the end of the day. And it's like what 
I'm being called into now and like what feels so much better to my soul is this inward healing work where it's like, hang on a minute. All you really have to do is get out of your own way. All you really have to do to have the things that you want, to have the same success, to have the, to be in alignment or be on the path of your soul, which to me is like the most successful that you can be anyway, is to clear the stuff that tells you that you can't have it, is to clear the limiting beliefs, is to clear the bullshit blocks, is to clear anything that says that you're not worthy of your goals, anything that says you're not worthy of desires and quite literally reprogram that mentality, shift the limiting beliefs, shift the energetic blocks, move through the process the emotion, move through the fear, um, integrate all of the learnings that your soul is here to learn and be and do and experience, cut the energetic cords and emotional ties, detach yourself from the people that are no longer serving you or lifting you up. And it's like, to me, it's still work. Don't get me wrong. This is still, it's still work, but it's not the staying up late, building a website until two o'clock in the morning. It's not the emailing everyone in your contact list, asking if they know anyone that knows for referrals on clients. And this is like where this really gets me is like, everyone's like, oh, I'm and I can see like a lot of people sitting there being like, well, how do I know this shit works? Like if I just sit around like journaling and meditating all day, like how do I know that this works? And for me, this is just like one prime example today, right? So today has been like an inner work day for me. I haven't done anything beyond my usual like morning messages that I send to people and different things like that. I haven't done anything that could be considered like work or could be considered like hustle or could be considered whatever. I've done a lot of like, I had a session with a soul mentor this morning and then um, looked after a friend's baby and like, but like I didn't do anything that would be considered like income producing activity and I still clocked over just over $600 in the last 12 hours. So it's like, and, and growing, right? So the day's not over yet. So it's like, we don't need to be in this constant state of action and flow in order to create abundance and wealth in our lives. Like it's just not necessary. Like we can be on the path of the inner work that feels really good to our soul. And it's not to say that I think, you know, a lot of people jump in at this point and go, well, hang on a minute. If we just sit around meditating all day, how are we actually going to get anything done? Like what about the inspired action? What about the aligned action piece? And that, and I, I, I totally get it because I had this exact same reservation, but that's where the idea comes in that there is a point to which aligned action ends and your hustle for worthiness begins. Like there is a point where you've done the aligned action or you've done the action that your soul is calling you to do. And then everything after that is just bullshit busy work. Everything after that is just trying to prove yourself. Everything after that is just trying to hustle to prove that you're worthy, that you're good enough, that that inner slave driver in your head is like, telling you you've got to do more you've got to do more you've got to do more you're, you're proving them you're proving that in a slave driver right with everything you do after that point and it's like I reached that point this morning where it's like you've got nothing left to do today in terms of aligned inspired action at like 8 30 this morning like I shit you not 8 30 this morning it was like my soul was like okay you're done like that's all you had to do today cool the end the rest of the day has been the deep inner work it's been like like I said crying processing emotion doing all of the other stuff that I that clears the debris and this is like and I wanted to touch on this really quickly before I go into the next thing but I've been doing so much inner work you guys around my money mindset lately and those that have been you know following along with my journey you guys know that and Amanda Francis is absolutely kicking my ass and changing my life with her money mentality makeover course and it's absolutely just completely rocking my world at the moment but the reason that I'm talking about like the reason that I don't have to do the outward hustle stuff anymore is because I'm doing the inner healing stuff is because that you know through this course like I've been called into so many situations in my head and, and past life stuff and you know, like regression therapy and all of this sort of stuff, like healing blocks and limiting beliefs. So it's like, I'm doing so much of that, that it's naturally making way for this flow of abundance that was already there sitting at the top of the waterfall, just blocked by all this debris and logs and sticks and shit. I'm making way by clearing out, I'm making way for the natural flow of abundance that is naturally and organically mine to come flooding into my life. And $600 for some of you, like for some people, it's, you know, it's nothing for a lot, for a lot of people, that's a lot of money to make in 12 hours. And it's like, I didn't have to do any income producing activity. I didn't have to do any, I didn't have to send a million messages, Facebook messages. Like if you're in network marketing, I didn't have to send a million Facebook messages. I didn't have to post a bazillion times on social media. I didn't have to do this, this, and this. Like I've done all that stuff. Don't get me wrong. I've done all that stuff, but it's like, where's the narrative? And this is like where I'm calling like out to leaders and people in the space that do this shit and don't talk about it. It's like, where is the where is the balance to the narrative of like, you need to work longer hours, you need to do more, you need to have more, you need to invest more. The balance to that of being like, you need to heal more. 
you need to release more you need to let shit go more you need to process your emotion more you need to move through your trauma more you need to do the deep inner work that's like going to just open you up to more success like naturally and organically anyway and like i said you guys the way i see it now is like there's two parts yeah there's the outward hustling and it, like it works like it's there's no i'm um, there's no denying that people have literally quite literally built from uh, like on i don't even know what the expression is but <laughs> i was gonna say by the skin of their teeth but that's the wrong one um but they've literally built like off their own backs these you know empires and whatever but to me what feels better, what feels so much more relaxed and natural for my divine feminine. Cause I've done that. Like I've done the hustling side. I've done the, okay, I'm going to, yeah, like I said, I'm going to stay up late. I'm going to do this. I'm going to, you know, work my ass off. I'm going to just put in all the action consistently. And it felt like banging my head up against a brick wall. It felt like I've used this analogy a couple of times in my work before, but it felt like having my eyes closed, being in a dark room with a punching bag and boxing gloves and just trying to like, just taking blind random swings. Cause I couldn't see shit. And now it's like, okay, rather than like just hoping to connect with the bag, right? Hoping to take a hit that actually worked, hoping to do something that would actually resonate with people. And it's like, instead of just fumbling around in a blind room, trying to make, like do something that connects the audience or trying to do something that actually feels like it's moving you forward and gaining you momentum. Why don't we, I know Peter Kelly talks about this, but why don't we switch on the light? But to me, that just means like, why don't we look at the deep inner stuff that's just that's standing in our way, that's keeping us in the dark, if you want to go with that metaphor again. And it's like, rather than, yeah rather than stumbling around blindly why don't we just yeah bring to light what is shrouded in darkness why don't we just and i know like a lot of you are probably thinking right now well what's the inner work what does that even look like like how do i know that i'm doing it how do i know what it, what that even looks like and some people are already well in this past some people just do that work all the time and it's just so natural and normal and easy for them other people have never done inner like don't even know what inner work is and that's totally perfect and fine let your soul guide you on that. Like let you, you let your soul just tell you what it needs. Let your soul um, just tune in and ask your soul. Like do some journaling around it. Okay, what modalities are going to help me? What do I need to clear? What blocks do I need to release? Any area in your life that feels stuck. Any area in your life that feels icky. So for me, I knew that I had a lot of shit to let go of around money because it was like money was this thing that I like never seemed to have enough of. Or when I did have a lot of it, it was like it went really quickly. Or I felt um, almost guilty for possessing a lot of it. So guilty that I had to. Spend spend it all at once like in one place or just like spend massive amounts at any one time because I couldn't I didn't want to hold on to it and it was like this area of my life and when I went full-time in my business I remember all of this shit coming up around like money this and scarcity this and lack this and even when I went to LA I was faced with so many situations where it's like this is what happens when you don't invest in yourself this is scarcity this is lack and it was like it's it becomes really just all of that to say, like, if that doesn't make any sense, just let it go. Just know that any area of your life where it feels icky, any area of your life where you feel stuck, any area of your life that it doesn't, that it feels anything less than joyful and blissful. It might be your relationship with your body. It might be your relationship with food and eating. It might be, you know, you've got a binge, you're binge eating at the moment. You're going to the pantry every night and stuffing your face uncontrollably with, um, you know, something to sort of suppress your emotions, being there, hashtag being there, done that, right? It might be your relationships. It might be that you keep attracting the same partners or that you haven't met your soulmate yet or, like, there's some stuff around, like, um, you know, feeling not worthy in your relationship. Whatever, any area of your life and, like, business, health, career, like, relationships, money, um, I was going to say finances, that's the same as money, um, health, like, you know the different categories of your life what any one of those that doesn't like that feels less than blissful that feels less than flow that feels less than ease and it might be all of them you guys don't stress about that i was at a point where i was like whoa i have so much shit to do like where do i even begin just go with what feels good i had a really like profound moment at the start of this year where it was like okay do you want to do love or money this year like my soul was like okay like giving me the choice obviously we all have free will and we all have the choice but my soul was literally like do you want to work through your money stuff this year or do you want to work through your love stuff and for me it was like I just intuitively went, okay, let's do money. And that's not to say that I haven't had my fair share of lessons around love this year. I haven't had some beautiful opportunities to release and let go of shit around love as well. And often everything's interlinked and like intertwined and connected anyway. But for me, it was like, okay, I'm choosing to focus my energy, my time, my effort and attention on money. And that means investing in the courses, working with the teachers and the healers and the guides and leaders and being open to learning as much as I can around money mindset and healing the, the limiting beliefs and the shit that comes up around that. So that's just like, it's for me, it's just such a more, fe like it's such a more feminine and by that. I just mean relaxed, graceful, easy way to do it. And that's why I like launched 30 days of devotion as well. Cause I was like, 
fuck dieting before the end of the year to look good in a bikini over summer like seriously fuck that like i want to feel empowered around my health i want to feel empowered around my body i want to feel like excited about what i'm excited about what i want to achieve by the end of the year not restricted by these like bullshit ego goals that i have to like look good in a bikini or whatever so that's when yeah that for me is what that's all about it's about inward healing um rather than just like doing shit because our ego loves it so i think that's all i wanted to say to you this afternoon if you if you've like because i yeah i totally get it you guys i've been on the out, the outward hustling path and it felt like pushing a fucking rock up a up a hill and sometimes that's what you need to sometimes that's what you need to do to realize that there's a better way or to realize that that way is not for you and i realized like it took probably three years for me doing that and pushing that rock up a hill to be like okay there's got to be a better way to do this because this is fucking shit and it's not getting me anywhere i feel like i'm at the same this i keep feel like i'm still at the bottom of the hill so for me, this feels like, it feels like progress. This feels like it's still, it's still new to me. Like as much as I can speak about this stuff, it's still very new, but it feels like progress and it feels like more progress than I ever could have made, like spending hours, like studying marketing, Instagram tutorials or whatever. Do you know what I mean? Like it feels, it feels like more it feels so much more natural it feels so much more effortless and that's obviously evidenced by the yeah the money that's you know flowing in effortlessly into my life now is that once i just yeah once i as we continue to move that shit out of the way it's like the natural abundance the natural success the natural energy and freedom and health and radiance and love that is our birthright can pour forth upon us like it was always meant to and a lot of this starts with like a lot of the work that I've had to do is around enoughness and worthiness. So if that resonates with you, hit me up and we'll chat about it. But yeah. All right. I love you humans so fucking much. Remember, inward healing over outward hustling, if it feels good. Have the most beautiful day in the history of the world. And can't wait to see all your beautiful healing faces soon. Love you, honey. Just quickly before we go. I was just This just came through as well to say... Heal, the he, inner healing work could look like soul journaling it could look like doing reiki it could look like doing past life regression it could look like doing energy like kinesiology it could look like doing like really traditional like psychotherapy um psychotherapeutic trauma work like healing it could look like naturopathy it could look like herbal remedies it could look like essential oils it could look like cleansing it could whatever it is for you you've got to like feel into what feels good for you like tapping eft if you haven't heard of that go google it but it's like it quite literally is so different for everyone whatever he healing modality works for you your soul will know um and just tune into that and trust it and go with it all right love you love bugs have the best day bye